So one thing, though. Why rob your own business, man? Well, see, my lovely wife has frozen my assets. This is my way of getting them back. Wicked. No, Dad, don't, don't listen to him. I can explain everything. An explanation, daughter. Let's have it now. <sighs> have you ever been the victim of peer pressure? No. Spencers are never victims. <clears throat> and I have no peers. Okay. Um... Well, it was it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Not that I'm not making excuses. I would never do that. Well, I come just come on, Luke. Chill, man. You're not gonna be a federal case over a few sips of beer, man. Beer? Look, one of her college friends let her share part of the beer. <laughs> come on. Look, didn't I promise you your secret was safe with me? Now you make me look bad in front of the old man. Luke. Well, I'm shocked. Shocked. I mean, what I am is shocked that you would serve a minor beer in a place like Jake's. But, hey, it's not going to happen again. Whatever. So, hey, do, do we have a deal? We got a deal. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry, what What deal? This is Coleman, Dad, king of Port Charles's lowlifes. You know, easy with the name calling, Tulip. Okay? I thought we were, we were getting tired, right? Hello, Buck. What are you doing here? Hey, Duchess, how's tricks? Looking fine. That's very sweet. You boys ought to take a page out of Buck's book. I'm supposed to stand here and watch this sleazy poser come on to my wife? I don't think so. The man has a way about him. He's a lowlife and a crook, and he's been serving booze to my underage daughter. And if I catch you mixing cocktails for Lulu again, it'll be Bucky meets Mr. Bang Bang. Hey, Dad, Dad, what are you doing? I don't know. Put like the gun down. Hey, easy, Woo! easy, easy, Lucas. No need for violence, okay, man? I'm gone. I'm gone. We're good. We're good. What are you doing? I'm protecting you, Princess. You're young, and you're impressionable, and I'll do anything to protect you. Okay, you are so busted. You can do your daughter any favors by sending her all these mixed messages. I've been very upfront with Robin. Yeah, so far this week. She's living with a lifetime of expectation and disappointment. Wait, you're not trying to advise me about family stability now, are no, you? No, I'd never do that. All I'm trying to say is that both our daughters think they got the short end. And what they don't realize is you open any door behind any picket fence or any porch swing and you're going to find all American dysfunction. And even darker, uglier secrets. The world that our daughters envy doesn't exist. And your point of all of this is? I'm a crap father, Robert. I know it. My kids know it. I've never tried to hide it from them. You, on the other hand, you still think that you can actually become the dad that Robin wants and has always wanted. And I'm telling you, you can't, man, because those days are gone. That time is over. It's gone permanently. I'm sorry. I just can't set my standards as low as you have. My daughter deserves better than that. Yeah, and you can't deliver. That's what I'm saying. See, Lulu knows that I'll be there for her in a crisis, that if she falls, I'll be there to pick her up. But she also knows that I am not going to be there for the homework and the, the, the soccer practice or whatever that stuff is. See, that ain't me. That's why she's got a brother and the internets. Now, let me understand here that the, the cupcake has completely accepted the, your manifest limitations. Absolutely. Cupcake and I have reached an understanding. We know each other, we respect each other. All right, Dad, it's time you finally stepped up and gave me some help. 